Interesting. Now, that was something I didn't see. Granted, however, I don't know anything about comics, so I only know the DC Universe through, well, you know, Wikipedia's TV tropes and a lot, lot more. But this scenario once again shows just how well the Young Justice writers really are on handling new scenarios. We're introduced to a new antagonist. No, not a new main antagonist, but a new antagonist who uh, who very well may become a very big threat, very likely working for the light. According to him, his name, his real name is Macam Moores, but that's a green name for him. He calls himself Macala. Sorry, I cannot pronounce this name. Mal Malaklaf. Ma Alef Kaf, which is apparently some a name which strikes fear into the green Martians. Yes, because the next antagonist is a white Martian. Hi for those who are watching the angry anime fan, the despair reviewer here, with uh, the fifth episode of Young Yasa's Outsiders Away Mission. We're introduced to a little bit more of the personality of the team, and uh, also the return of Bear, you know, the new god. And I thought we saw Orion this episode, but no, unfortunately not. We still don't know who is his voice actor. We only know who is the voice actor of Makan, or Makalef. And by the way, I read that Makalef apparently was the twin brother of John Jones, a.k.a. Martian Manhunter, and his arch nemesis. Here, Makalef uh, is, the, is the little brother of McGann, because Bea returns to the Earth, uh, uh, greeting Superboy as his old friend, as well as Severe, and telling that there had been some disturbance with the bugs and the new god new god of Genesis. So, uh, uh, so uh, Bear uh, and scanned the DNA together with Motherbox and discovered that it was metahuman-like genes, so he needs help from some Earthlings. So McGann assembles her team, well, the team that are still there, you know, of uh, static... Uh, uh, Wonder Girl, uh, Kid Flash, herself, and also the new, the only one who was stay behind, Tracy Thirteen, who is apparently voiced by Larry and Tom. I hope Thirteen becomes uh, a couple together with um, Blue Beetle, who is also on this mission, because according to his comic books, they did date. And I really hope that, uh, well, you know, it's like that. So either way, they go to uh, the new god Genesis, where we also meet Forager. Because it turns out the episode begins with a deal that uh, the new bugs try to have a deal with the new uh, gods, which is Orion. However, they always, always seem to trick. But Forager do not know that. Forager himself is a bug. And yes, Forger is voiced by the same guy who voiced Wally West. I guess we can take that as an assumption that the that the what is that word? We can take this into assumption that yes, this means that Wally West really is dead because now his voice actor comes back. Yes, not voicing Wally West. In fact, when his voice actor was announced, a lot of people began to think that Wally was going to return. But then it turns out, until much later, that it was going to voice Forger. So yeah, we were trolled. I mean, the people say that there is no speed force this universe. However, you have to realize, writers, that <laughs> until you show us otherwise, or at least until you kill off another member of the team, people are just going to keep on guessing. You know, well, either way, it doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that uh, the team tries to uh, uh, solve another bad deal. It's during this time that McGann discovers that uh, the Orion that made the deal is not the real Orion because he's off world. That is McAuliffe, of, who is uh, McCall Moore's uh, of, uh, the little brother of McGann, who, after having been oppressed so many times by the Green Martians have become a, ra a, a, a fanatic, a racist fanatic, so to speak. 
which is once again showing us how well uh, the outsiders and the Young Justice writers are handling all of this, because he has become his own worst enemy. After being oppressed by the Green Martians for so long, he now decides to do the same to strike fear into the Green Martians. Only thing is that what he is doing is basically just the exact same as the Green did to him. He is causing disturbance between the bugs of New Genesis and the New Gods, uh, making them hate each other and go into war, just like a racial war. And the fact that he's ap actually using meta-human slaves through mind control uh, and then kills them when uh, they have outlived their usefulness just shows how little he feels of everything else. This guy had truly jumped off the slippery road and become just as worse as, as anyone else. He says he's getting help for doing some deals here. Hmm. We can all but assume that is the light, right? <laughs> Sorry, that was an unintentional rhyme. It's, uh... So... Is it possible that he is working for the light? Or maybe he's even on light? I mean, they do need a Martian with a telepathic. And unlike McGann, who always assumes a more humanoid form, McAuliffe is always in... A, a white Martian form that, yes, looks exactly like McGann's original forms. I guess uh, the Martians really do not have as so much sexual uh, differences when they are in their real forms. The only real difference is that McAuliffe seems to have more pants than uh, McGann had. So, well, who cares, really? He has become his own worst enemy, and trust me, he is cruel. He is actually pretty scary. And we all know how scary McGann was when she took the more darker path. So even though they managed to defeat her, no him, he uh, he still gets the last laugh by killing the meta-human meta slaves, as well as say blaming all of this on Forger, who even managed to defend the team. And unfortunately for that, Forger is then banished from the hive by the main bug. and. In order to have protection of it all, Forger is then forced to go to Earth together with the team to find new type of witness protection. It's worth noting though that Bear, the only new Genesis god that we see here, is actually treating Forger with respect. I thought the new Genesis really do look down on the bugs. Maybe they do, it's just that because of McAuliffe, they has been more serious than other people. So yeah, we saw a glimpse of Orion. The only thing is that was Orion was fake. So I just wonder, is uh, has does that mean he has his real voice actor or something else? Well, who knows? I'm just looking forward to more. Racial def uh, uh, wars, huh? Well, that is one heavy subject of it all. But again, it just shows just how well the writers could handle it. The fact that McAuliffe used to be the twin brother of McG of John Jones and Arch Nemesis here is changed into a white Martian and an enemy of uh, McGann. Uh, that yes, once again shows just how well they handle this. This was an emotion. No, this was a dangerous episode. But maybe I give it an eight point five out of ten. I like Forger's character. He may always talk in third person, but I find that he is a very kind person. So give me your thoughts if you have any. <laughs>